In this video, I will demonstrate the SAP level configuration required to activate virus scanning and content security features in ABAP based SAP applications. As a prerequisite, I assume you have installed Bowbridge Antivirus for SAP solutions at the operating system level. Log in to an administrator account on your SAP system and open transaction vScan group. As you switch to edit mode, confirm the warning that this is a cross-client table. Add a new entry to the table and give it a descriptive name. In the group text field, you may specify additional descriptions. Select the newly created group entry and open the Configuration Parameters folder from the Dialog Structure pane. In there, also create a new entry. Select the init directory parameter from the pull-down list. As the value, enter the name of the folder to where you have installed antivirus at the operating system level. As a second entry, add the init engines parameter. Init engines specifies which virus scanning engine you wish to use. Possible values are McAfee, Sophos, ICAP, or CLAM AV. For this demonstration, I'm using the McAfee virus scanning engine. When saving the changes, you will be prompted for a workbench request so you will later be able to transport the configuration across your landscape. The next transaction you need to access to set up a virus scan provider is called vScan. Switch to edit mode, confirm the cross-client warning and add a new entry. By default, the name of the virus scan provider references the host name, but you may want to change it to something more descriptive. I am using VSA Bowbridge as the name. From the list of scanner groups, select the one you just created in Transaction vScan group. As the adapter path, enter the full path to the Bowbridge shared library if your application server runs on Unix or the Bowbridge VSA DLL if it runs on the Windows platform. Specifying a re-init interval is optional. Its only purpose is to refresh the information shown in Transaction vScan once the adapter is up and running. If you do wish to set the interval, we recommend setting it anywhere between 8 and 24 hours so I'm going to use 12 hours. When saving the changes, record them to the same workbench request you created in vScan group. After the new provider has been created, you may click the Start button to start the virus scan provider. This can take up to 30 seconds. When started, you will see detailed information on the engine, the drivers, adapter data, and supported parameters. Next, open Transaction vScan Profile to configure the virus scan profiles for the applications running on your server. Unlike virus scan groups and providers, virus scan profiles are not cross-client, so please make sure you are logged in to your actual application client. SAP delivers several virus scan profiles out of the box. None of these profiles is active, which means no application currently uses the virus scan interface. When activated, each of these profiles references the one profile marked as default. 
As no default profile exists, we will add one. Switch to edit mode and add a new entry. The name of the new virus scan profile has to be in the Z or the Y namespace. I'm using Z Bowbridge. You may add some descriptive information in the profile text field. Then, open the Steps folder from the Dialog Structure pane. In here, also add a new entry to link the Virus Scan profile to your Virus Scanner group. Enter the value 1 for Position. Select Group from the Type pull-down and choose the scanner group you created earlier. Next, open the Profile Configuration Parameters folder from the Dialog pane. Add a new entry to the table and select the Cust Check MIME. Set the value to 1. Return to the Virus Scan Profile folder and mark the profile as active. Select the checkbox Evaluate Profile Configuration Parameters and mark the profile as default before saving it. The system will prompt you for a customizing request. As the last configuration step, activate the profiles for the applications and content vectors you would like to secure. When done, save the changes and exit the transaction. To verify the settings, open Transaction vScan Test. This transaction offers several ways to test the virus scan configuration. One of the tests is to send the iCAR test file to the scanner. The iCAR file is benign but detected by all virus scan engines. Leave all settings to their default values and execute the transaction. The SAP note referenced in this warning contains information on the iCAR file, so it's safe to proceed. The expected result is to have the file blocked based on a malware detection. For a second test, go back and select the Shakespeare sonnet from the test data pulldown. Then, execute the transaction and it should declare the test as completed successfully, with no malware detected. This completes the installation and the basic configuration of Bowbridge Antivirus on your ABUP stack. You may now conduct additional tests directly from your application, or fine-tune the scanning policy according to your specific security requirements.